uh, in order to get infected with Zika virus, you need to be bitten by a mosquito that is carrying, is carrying Zika virus. And you can't just be next to somebody who has had the infection. You really do need exposure to an infected mosquito. And right now we are seeing these mosquitoes into uh, South America, Central America, and parts of the Caribbean, um, where we're seeing Zika virus outbreaks. I think it's important for people to know that uh, most of the people who develop uh, Zika virus infection don't have any symptoms whatsoever. And those that do often just have very mild symptoms that will go away within a week. Um, the reason that we're concerned is because there is a risk to uh, pregnant women, specifically to their unborn child, of developing birth defects if uh, the woman is infected, especially later on in pregnancy. And so uh, I don't think there is a need for you know, generalized panic or fear, um, but I think it is important that people who are traveling to mosquito endemic areas, uh, in areas that have Zika virus going on right now, or other mosquito-borne infections such as malaria or dengue fever, are cognizant about the infection risk and what they can do to prevent themselves to be bitten by mosquitoes. For people who are living in endemic areas, areas that are endemic for Zika virus, there are things that uh, people can do from, to prevent uh, getting infected. Specifically, if there are uh, pregnant women uh, that they uh, you know, wear long sleeves of so full clothing and consider um, sleeping under uh, mosquito nets if they're living in these areas. Another thing to do is try to get rid of the reservoirs and the areas where mosquitoes uh, can breed um, in, around the home. So it's any standing water and really trying to cover up any, if it's you know, glasses of water or, or barrels of water, if they, if they need to have water in it, keeping them covered to prevent mosquitoes from uh, laying their eggs and, and breeding within those water sources. And so uh, even for people who are living in these in a Zika virus endemic area, there are things that people can do to, uh, to protect themselves and their unborn children.